So, you've picked your path. Now it's time to put in the work. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to maximize your career and be a real standout performer at whatever you do. You know, maybe you want to work at a really great company that has really good reviews and really good perks, or maybe you want to get out of the rat race completely and start your own business so you can have more freedom than ever before. No matter which one you decide to pick, in today's lesson, I'll talk about how to succeed through both paths so you can thrive and take one step closer towards your dream career. Remember, I want you to pick one thing and not be all over the place. So, why do you think that you having a great career is so important? You know, oftentimes when people hear this question, they instantly think about the money. They instantly think about a fancy position with a fancy title. But there's really so much more than that. You know, having a great career is really about your time because your time is more important than your money, right? You can always get more money, but you can never get more time. So you want to fulfill your life living out your purpose. You want it to have meaning, right? Since you only have one life to live, you want to make the most out of it. Now, if you're going to make the most out of it, and if you think about it in all actuality, you want to spend a huge chunk of your life working through your everyday job. So think about how often right now you're traveling to work, preparing for work, being at work, thinking about work, and then some. Right. This takes a lot of your time. And in most jobs, they only give you two weeks of vacation out of the entire year. So it's extremely important that we get this area down pat, because if you're going to spend such a large portion of your time working somewhere, you better love what you do. You know, it's really hard to have an enjoyable life if you don't actually enjoy what you do. Wouldn't you agree? So let's talk about the top three ways to improve your resume and land your dream job. You need to know this because 50% of all jobs will be automated within the next five years. Okay, I'm telling you this now. In the next five years, jobs will be automated, removing a lot of people from their current positions. So the job market will be far more competitive than it is today. Now, don't worry. If you've been applying what you learned yesterday in the last lesson and stay true to this boot camp, you will continue your success because you're building your career path around your strengths. That's why you will compete. So here's how to stand out even further. Rule one, stop making your resume extremely generic. This is the number one most critical mistake that most people make, whether they have a degree or not. The average person's resume looks the exact same as the hundreds of other resumes that apply for the exact same position. Most people got their resume template from either Microsoft Word, Google.com, with maybe a little help from a college instructor along the way. And when that's the case, how do you really stand out when everybody is doing the exact same thing? You know, in a world where the competition is so stiff, you don't want your resume to scream run of the mill. You don't want your resume to scream average. You don't want to be average. You want to stand out and stand away from average. See, you want to be an outlier. So in order for you to become a career outlier, the number one thing I want you to do is to write every resume specific to the one position that you're applying for. I cannot state this enough. This cannot be a resume that is so vague and so general that you just hand it to a million different companies. This resume has to be tailor-made for one company. Remember the old saying, when you try to please everybody, you end up pleasing nobody. And that's exactly why your resume should list the exact position title and the exact company that you're applying for to improve your chances of getting through the door. See, you want a recruiter to feel like you're speaking directly to them whenever they read your resume, not everybody else. Rule two, I want you to understand the flow of the dream job funnel. 
the more you can perfect this process, the more likely you are to advance in your career guarantee. So here's the funnel for your dream job. And we're going to start with the last thing first, so that way we can reverse engineer our way to success, making sure that every single step along the way gets you exactly what you're trying to get. No missteps. So what is it that you want your dream job to look like? What companies offer this position? You know, the more you can get clarity behind your desired purpose, the more you can do things that don't waste your time. Remember what Stephen Covey said in The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People? You want to begin with the end in mind. See, because average people design this random, dull resume and just hope to land on something that pays the bills, right? It's just on a hope and a prayer. They don't know who they're going to turn the resume into, who's going to look at it, and they'll just take whoever bites at it first, right? But not you. You want a super path that's well-designed to maximize your success without straining years of stress, right? So it's a must that you really get this down. Your desired end, right? You have to really get down your desired end, right? Once you know your desired end, then you're going to look at the first step. Let's look to the first step, which is skill acquisition. Let's take a look at that right now. Take a look at your dream job's qualifications right now. Right now, do you have the skills that you need to get the position that you desire? Remember that you don't get out of life what you want. You get out of life who you are. You have to be the right person to attract the thing that you desire. So here's the question. Are you the right person that has the right skills currently for this position? If so, move on to the next step. If not, don't kid yourself. Make the investment now to double down on your skills. Remember this, it's not about your degree that gets you the job. It's about your skills that you bring to the marketplace and how effectively you can communicate that on a resume. See, you want to double down on skills because skills is what pays the bills. There's no quick fix to this process, guys. You cannot shortcut your success. You join the success boot camp because you want to be successful. And you must understand that you cannot cheat success. See, get skill acquisition down to become the perfect candidate for the position. Then move on to the next step. See, then you work on the resume design. Now, you, want, you might be asking yourself, how do I get the skills? What if I don't have the skills? Well, you can take an online course or a course at a local community college that offers the skills that you need. You can find a mentor that has these skills and learn it from them. You can enroll in a program or intern somewhere where they will equip you with the skills that you need to get your dream position. You know, whatever it is that you need to do, do it. You know, what you need to do is get your skills down pat because this funnel that you're looking at is a game changer because most people, when they're applying for jobs, they put the cart before the horse. They design the resume before knowing the exact position at the exact company that they want to get. So it's impossible for them to design the best resume in the first place. They design the resume before having the exact level of skills that's required so they don't look like a good fit for the position. If you start applying today's lesson before you get to the next step of writing your resume, guess what? You'll have so many skills experience, and objectives in your back pocket, you'll know exactly what to put on paper and you'll blow the competition away. It'll be easy. But for now, just trust the process. See, most people won't do this because they're afraid to put in the work. Most people won't do what we're going over today because they're in a hurry to get the quick fix. Don't let that be you. Thirdly, I want you to pick five to 10 companies to apply for and I want you to go all out. 
Now, this might seem a little counterintuitive to what I've been telling you thus far, you know, about focusing on one position at one company at a time, but it's really not, okay? Here, we're making the best of both worlds. We're learning how to create an extremely skilled, extremely customized resume one at a time with a very repeatable process that allows us to make small changes from company to company. You know, the reason we're going to repeat this process and apply for multiple positions is because when it comes to looking for jobs, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. You give too much power to any one company when you do that. You know, even if you're really obsessed with one company and you're really focused on getting that position, not submitting your resume somewhere else actually weakens your position because you're not giving your dream company any competitors to bargain against to give you a higher salary. See, you want to be strategic to make your chances of walking away with a great position as high as possible, right? You want a great position with great salary. So let's hedge our bets, right? Don't sell yourself short. Now, moving on to my entrepreneurs. When it comes to your startup rules, first and foremost, I want you to start small. I need you to be able to start small. Unless you've got started dozens of companies and raised tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars in each venture, start small and work your way up. Don't try to compete with the big dogs on day one. Don't take the elevator to get to the top. Take the stairs. Learn the things that you have to learn about starting your business, growing a business while helping keeping it operational, learn how to manage teams, and many of these lessons you can learn without taking out tremendous overhead and being sucked into a bunch of business debt. See, taking out a business loan will put more pressure on you to deliver in rapid time. So for now, let's just get started by going digital. All companies have an opportunity to enhance themselves by using technology. For you, this is great because there's so many free tools at your disposal, all for free. There are ways for you to be able to get online tools and get on social media platforms to stream media that before would have cost you millions of dollars, right? Even as early as a few years ago. So take advantage of this. You know, if you're in a nine to five job and you're wanting to start your own company, Take the cash flow that you're earning from your current paychecks, step two now, and begin investing it in your business. So you'll need some financial cushion created before you take the leap to cover some of your unexpected emergencies. You know, but for now, I want you to be able to put some hours into your company while you're working at somebody else's company. You know, do the nine to five and then put your time and your money in your own endeavors from five to nine. Keep grinding it out and be patient. Always be consistent. You'll accelerate your success if you are interested in finding the right mentors that you wanna model yourself after in the business. You know, you wanna seek out the advice of successful business owners that have decided to make the jump out of this job that they hated just like you. Last but not least, I want you to develop an exit plan. The exit plan should span approximately about a year or longer of you being able to get out of your job. So in this exit plan, it outlines where you should be at by the time you leave your nine to five job, how much resume your business should be currently making, you know, the emergency money that you need to already have in place before you exit uh, the company, before you exit the nine to five, and anything else that allows you to make a smooth transition with some uh, level of security. Okay, so we'll talk about this in further discussions as well as the job uh, phone. But for now, I want you to just continue with planning out the path that you've chosen. That's today's homework assignment. If you're taking the traditional career path, get the job funnel down and decide where you are in that process. See, just take one step forward. Don't be overwhelmed by everything. If you're looking to take the entrepreneur route, develop your exit plan that we just discussed. Planning at this stage is critical for your success because if you fail to plan, you will plan to fail.